Cover ground. Good. Tight in the middle. Yeah, that's, those are like empty steps, right? So you don't want to just pop the ground and not go anywhere. You have to put some substance behind each one. Force power, force power, force power. I got, you, I got you one, four, five on that one. Much better. And those, it sounds like minute changes, but minute changes are big time changes as they start to extrapolate themselves out over the next 20 to 30 yards, right? So even if I have a three one hundredths of a second difference down there, that's a big difference. Right? That's like expanding the long jump world record by three inches. That's a big difference, right? So. Those small changes down there open up to bigger changes down here because it's setting you up to be in a better position to let your feet hit the ground down here, right? Let's go, this time I want you to go through 15 rather than 10. I want you to go through 15, staying down the whole time. As you get through 15, I want you to start coming up slow, right? Start slowing down and coming up slow and take a long time to run it off, even if you have to run a curve to run it off, right? Okay, let's go. Let's go, push, all the way through 15. Can you get his 10? Lay down. You came out, you're pushing, you're staying low. From 10 to 15 is where you start to come up tall. By the time you get to 15, you're here. I want you to hold that, and I don't want you to start coming up until 15. And at 20, I want you to be here, right? So we got to move everything back another five yards. Make sense? So you got to stay down all the way till you get through this cone, and then you can start coming up and getting into that tall position we worked on the other day. All right? How are you feeling? You feeling okay? Can you get a couple more? Okay. Let's get a couple more. Looks good, man. You look fast. Stay down. Stay down. There you go. Now come up. Nice job. Control right here. Yes. Yeah. It's not worth it. I think that's a minuscule thing to talk about right now. Uh, I know it's like a feeling that you have. Uh, let's put that in the back burner because you can still run fast with that app. Great job. From 10 to 15, stay down the whole time, and then you came up from 15 to 20 and did exactly what I asked you to do. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Next thing on this one is you got to get tight through here. Like right from the beginning, right when you start, you push off. You got to get tight all the way through here, just like a boxer does. Right? Tight through here and keep it tight until you get through. Once you come up tall, then you can let that air out, stay up tall, finish it out. Okay? But stay tight the whole time. So we want to get we want to get that stability created internally here, so that as you push, you get every ounce of horsepower that you're putting in the ground. Pushing. Make sense? Can't go loose. Can't go to jelly in the metal. Because at that point, you're robbing yourself of horsepower. So we've got to keep it tight and push, 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 push. All right? Keep that front knee down just a little bit. Good job, Nelly. Stay tight. Tighten up. Now come up tall. Good. This is Doug Farrar with Yahoo Sports. I'm here with Brent Calloway, the performance manager at Athletes Performance. Brent's been working with uh, Taiwan Jones on his 40 time. Um, first of all, Brent, kind of go through the process that Taiwan's been dealing with, uh, having the injury, not being able to work the combine. What's his rehab been like, and how long has he been uh, doing that with you? Yeah, he's been here uh, at Athletes Performance since January uh, 3rd, I believe, is when he checked in, and he's gone through a, a tedious process of getting back on his feet and, and getting out of the situation that he was in and, and starting to move again, which is a big thing for guys here. Uh, the, the pro day drills and combine drills are, are very wearing, especially on the lower body. There's a lot of cutting, there's a lot of turning, there's a lot of change of direction. Uh, any, even the, the starts in the 40 that you would think is just linear speed and, and not that wearing on the lower body is, is really tough because of the amount of force that the guys are putting in the ground, especially at the beginning. 
So with Taiwan, we spent a lot of time. He's already a fast guy. We know he's already a fast guy. Um, and, and here, we're not just about let's just get him back to his feet and let him run again. Uh, we also want to take that speed and capitalize on it and really be able to open him up and, and give him back the wheels that we already know that he has and, and even tweak him a little bit more. So we spent a lot of time, specifically today, on opening his stride up in the first 10 to 15 yards. That's how you set. You've got to have a good start in order to run a good 40. Um, so a lot of football players will have a lot of uh, fast feet and what I call empty steps where there's a lot of uh, fast recovery, high frequency, but there's no pushing, there's no depth to them, there's no power inside of it. So with Taiwan we have to go back to, okay, let's insert that power back in and get him back to track speed so he can run his 40 and then let him have his football speed back whenever he gets back on the field with his drills. And you mentioned something uh, that Travell talks about all the time, which is core strength. Exactly, exactly. So when, uh, when, when guys are out here, they have to be able to connect kinetically uh, their body from their feet all the way up through their shoulders and their neck. Um, that means basically creating the body and turning it into a piece of iron, if you can, uh, if you can think about it that way. Guys who are loose and limp in the middle, it's almost like a passing power through a bowl of jelly. It's, it's not really going to go anywhere. And we don't want to be that in the middle. We want to be rock in the middle so that every time my foot strikes the ground, I'm pushing my body forward very efficiently rather than being loose and losing power out various joints. What's he been running here? Uh, running fast, running fast. We haven't caught him at a full 40 yet, but uh, his, his first uh, 10, he's been running low 1-4s, and that, that sets him up to run really fast whenever he, uh, he goes out and does stop. On the field, there have been a lot of Chris Johnson, Jamal Charles, mm -hmm. Um, comps. Do you see that kind of speed in him? He's got it for sure. Yeah, he's got those wheels. Uh, and, and one of the things for him is he has to learn how to control them. Yeah. Um, so he can't just play the game at one speed. <laughs> he's got to be able to come back and, uh, and and slow down where he needs to and be patient where he needs to. We work on that a good bit too. Okay, Taiwan Jones here at Athletes Performance. Uh, Taiwan, you've been running some 40s this morning, kind of getting everything in shape uh, for your pro day. Uh, first of all, when is your pro day? Uh, my pro day is April 14th at Los Madonnas College in the Bay Area. Okay, uh, and what have you been working on with uh, Brent here? Um, today we worked on a couple 40 starts and he allowed me to open up a little bit. So today was like my, my real first day being able to, you know, change different change gears and to, you know, really get in the stride of everything. And, uh, I felt pretty good. The, the hardest thing was slowing down, but <laughs> it felt good. Yeah, it seems for you the hardest part would be slowing down. I mean, everyone knows you're fast, um, but what have you been working on here to really get that efficiency to a different level? Um, just my mechanics, you know. It's, it's easy for me to go out there, go f be one speed all the time, but it's being able to, to look fluent do doing the drills and to, to do it right. So. We've been working on my mechanics, and it's been a, a little bit of a slow process because of my injury, but we're getting there. You think 4-3 uh, is a reality for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm shooting for 4-2s, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right. Thanks, Taiwan.